Good morning everybody. My name is Paul Storm. I work for an Autodesk reseller called Micrographics in Cape Town, South Africa. And this morning we'd like to discuss the upgrading of your Python script to the new Python nodes within Dynamo. This might be necessary because you might not have looked at your scripts for a while. And of course for a BIM manager that's very important every year if you are writing Dynamo graphs and they're used within your company, upgrade them, try and improve them, revisit them, see what's changed in the Revit API. So if you're not familiar with the Revit API, you can view that on the Revit API docs. And just by way of explaining this to anybody that's not familiar with the Revit API, it is the what we refer to as the application programming interface. It is essentially the component model which Revit is co <coughs> constituted by. And there are different versions. So here you can see 2017, 2018, all the major versions that came out in 2018, then going on through until 2023. And then one of the other ones over there would be code. So if you click on 2023, this will show you the latest updated um, component model or API application programming interface for Revit and part of that of course is the code and similarly there is one for Dynamo so Dynamo of course also has an API and you would have to also update with the latest for Dynamo all right so you just have to revisit the script let's open up dynamo for those of you who haven't worked with dynamo yet go to your manage tab there you can find your dynamo button to launch dynamo specifically i want to just have a look at the python node that's usually we leverage the dynamo api to program things within Dynamo that you can't normally do. And that we can do with Python. All right, so if I open that, then you'll see it's an old script. It's coming all the way from 2018. And immediately it gives you this warning. It says this graph contains nodes that reference outdated Python engine. So also Python API, of course, updates the Python engine updates. And there you can see we've got Python 3. Right? So the point is that software always evolves and you have to revisit whatever you've programmed for the new versions as it comes through. Now in this case it's relatively easy to fix the solution to, to fix the problem. We, we simply have to replace the existing failed script over there. So let's do that the manual run and then you'll see that we're going to get an error on that node. It says the selected Python engine could not be found. All right. So this is an updated node. The latest node looks very much the same as the old node. So all we really need to do is to edit this node, copy the script, and paste it across into the other node. We're just waiting for this node to open. It should open in a moment. There we go. So there we've got a bit of Python code and some experimentation that was done, which is commented out. And there's the doc.settings unit. That's what I want. So it's just grabbing everything. Copying that as it is. Control C. Close that node. Open the other node. 
replace everything within that with my original code. Save and close. Then you'll see that we need two inputs in one and in zero. So of course that corresponds to the in nodes and on this node it behaves the same as before it's in zero and in one and that will essentially solve the problem and if we set browse to a file then we would be able to run manually and you'll see that it won't generate an error this time because we are using the brand new Python engine that of course drives that Python script node. Okay, it's finished running, it ran successfully and we fixed our script for the year and we can roll this out across the company again for everybody to use. Sometimes the fix is not that simple, you have more work to do but if you are going to be automating against newer versions of software using updated uh, programming interfaces like Dynamo and Python then that's part of your job every year hopefully you do this when the new version comes out which is usually about a year before people start using it usually that's what happens big companies will hold off on the new version it usually comes out in about January, February, March, April, May 2024 came out in the year 2023 about April or May gives you about a year just to revisit all of your programming to make sure that it's ready for the new version so remember don't just expect the old scripts to run make sure that they are operational before you go into production until next time good luck with your Revit programming or Dynamo and Python programming automation and enjoy Revit <laughs>